We all learn about Pythagoras' theorem in school. But who was Pythagoras? And what other discoveries did he and his followers make? The fact is, there's not very much we know for certain about Pythagoras. None of his writings have survived, and a lot of what was written about him later has been clouded by legend. Still, we do know that he came from the island of Samos, and that he lived from about 570 BC to about 495 BC. He was a philosopher, and he founded a school of thought called Pythagoreanism. There are all sorts of strange stories about him. One is that he was a strict vegetarian with a particular aversion to eating or even touching beans because he thought they contained the souls of the dead. There's no real evidence for that, although it seems pretty well established that he believed in metempsychosis or transmigration of souls, the idea that people have immortal souls which after they die enter a new body. But more than anything, Pythagoras and his followers are remembered for their connection with maths. They were obsessed with the idea that numbers are at the heart of everything. Each number to them had a special significance. One represented the origin of things. Three was special because everything has three stages, a beginning, a middle and an end. Four was the number of seasons and classical elements, earth, wind, fire and air, and so on. They showed numbers as dots in a triangular pattern, so that rows alternated odd and even. Pythagoras' name has been attached to the theorem that in a right angle triangle the square of the long side, the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. But that fact was probably known centuries earlier by the Babylonians and Indians. It's just that we don't have any historical records, so we can't be sure. Pythagoras is also credited with an early system of musical tuning. In Pythagorean tuning, the frequency ratios of all musical intervals are based on the ratio 3 to 2, known as a pure, perfect fifth. Legend has it that he uncovered the mathematical basis of music when he was passing blacksmiths at work one day and heard what seemed to him the harmonious sound of the hammers against the anvils. When he tested the hammers individually, he found that the pitch of the sound they made was directly proportional to the size of the hammer, and so he realized that musical sounds could be understood in terms of numbers. Finally, it's said that Pythagoras also came up with the idea of the harmony of the spheres. According to this, the sun, moon, and planets make musical sounds as they move around their paths, and together they create a beautiful, mathematically-based harmony. I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse into the past. Just hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to see more Discover Maths videos in the future. And thanks for watching.